You belong on The Sims, mate. Gigi, what have they done to you? You'd think that EA Sports would know what he looked like by now. Not many players playing at the top level right now can claim to have appeared on FIFA 98. In fact, only one can, Gianluigi Buffon. Now at the age of 43, let's take a look back at the evolution of Italy's greatest ever goalkeeper spanning two and a half decades of FIFA games. FIFA 99, back in the Palmer days. Jesus, look at that lineup. Cannavaro, Taram, Veron, Crespo, and of course Buffon. There he is. Will we get a look at his face? No. But there's a shot of him being sick on the goal line. FIFA 2000, Gigi's fresh from winning the UEFA Cup with Parma. Only got a 74 rating for his troubles. Not sure about these graphics. You belong on The Sims, mate. Moving on. 2001, that was his final season with Parma. Gigi's got some major lockdown hair going on there. Let's be honest, not as bad as mine, though. FIFA 2002 now when he's got his big move to Juventus, but I'll be honest, I don't think that's going to help his cause on the likeness front. FIFA 2002 was notorious for all the players looking absolutely terrifying. Case in point, that is meant to be David James. Uh, it's not as terrifying as I expected. If anything, he looks too cute. And that's the weirdest thing I've said all week. 2003, better. But tell me that's not Reese from Malcolm in the Middle. He has gone from a 76 to 91 rating in three games though, that is pretty damn good. Not as good as his 95 rating in 2004, but even that has nothing on FIFA 2005 when Buffon became the highest rated goalkeeper in the history of the game at the time. Given that fact, you'd think that EA Sports would know what he looked like by now. 2006, slight drop in rating and looking like a slightly better rendered Pierce Brosnan from the N64 GoldenEye games. I've got high hopes for FIFA 2007 though. Ugh, oh no, go back. Gigi, what have they done to you? Give that man some vitamin D, he looks dead. FIFA 10 and after 12 years on the game, I'm happy to say that FIFA have finally managed to capture Gianluigi Buffon in all his glory. His rating has dipped back into the 80s. Maybe they thought he was winding down his career at this point. They were wrong. Getting some serious Ross Geller vibes from FIFA 11 and 12. FIFA 14 has handed him his lowest rating in a decade, but I'm more concerned about his eyesight. Those eyes look very shriveled and weary. By 2015, he looks almost completely blind. Still better than how he was portrayed on Pez at this point though, who seems to have modeled him on some sort of velociraptor. FIFA 17, that's the best one so far. Also with 88, it's his highest rating since 2010. And remember, he's 38 at this point. FIFA 19, that's the year where he took a sabbatical in Paris. Even his face seems to suggest, hmm, is this a good idea? That's rating at the age of 40, that's got to be a record. Can we bother to look it up? No. And finally, we come to FIFA 21. He's back at Juventus, or should I say, Piemonte Gaggio, 82, aged 42, who knows, if he holds on for another couple of years, he could become the first player to make his debut on a 32-bit console and retire in VR.